Howdy! How's all my friends out there in YouTube land? We got a whole bunch of them out there in the chat room already. Got Miss Brandy on the panel here with me this evening. And Hi guys. Uh, we are ready to rock and roll. Well, I mean, we it looks like Christmas blew up in here, Brandy. How's it look at your house? It looks like beads blew everywhere. <laughs> Well, I'll say hello to everybody out there in the chat room. Let me see here. Who all we got? Let me pull this up. Uh, we got Gail out there. We got Jacqueline out there. Joyce is out there. Wanda's out there. Looks like we got quite a few in the chat room already this evening. Kind of scrolling down through, make sure I haven't missed anybody. I think I got them all so far. Oh, Night Angel just popped in. Cammie's is out there. We got some of them coming in here. Cool. They're Night strolling in. Uh, what is Night Angel's name? She's told me. I can't remember. Can you tell me again, sweetie? Our memories are about as big as a thimble. <laughs> Fiona in the house. Hey, <laughs> B. Hi, Carrie. Carrie, come in. Good to see Carrie out there. I like how I like Cammie's name, her YouTube name. Uh huh. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> a lot of truth in that, I'll tell you what. Yeah. We're liable to have a whole lot of them in here tonight because I I've gotten quite a few subscribers this week, Brandy. Yeah, I noticed someone's been gaining some headway in the subscriber community, and I'm very proud of you. Congratulations. I have been she beating it. YouTube bushes. <laughs> she, yeah, she really has. And you know what, ladies? She has gotten past 500 subbies. So congratulations, Brenda. Yay. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I, I've called in my markers from my YouTube community. and <laughs> I've got everybody <laughs> rallying uh, to try to help boost the channel and get things going. And say hey to Mary. Joyce out there and say hey to Mary that just strolled in. Glad to have you ladies with us. Peggy's out there. Good to have Peggy with us. She's one of my new subs. We've got all kinds of things going on here tonight. And I'm going to start off with talking about this challenge before we get to the crafty table. Um, I've gotten four entries so far for the challenge. And for anybody that's not familiar with the challenge, what it is, is all you have to do is make me a card. Just make me a card and, and send it to me in the mail. My address is in the description of the video. It's not that difficult to do. It don't have to be a Christmas card. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, just something that you made. That's all I'm asking. And put your name and your address in there with it. And I will put your name in the drawing for a Sure Bonder glue gun next week. Next week. You got one week to get this done now, girls and boys and ladies and gentlemen and children of all ages. <laughs> that includes you, PJ. <laughs> hey, all you got to do is send me a card. It can be a postcard. <laughs> it doesn't have to be in an envelope. Just send me a card. And I'll put your name in for the drawing next Monday night here on the live show. I, I've gotten three more this week. We got Wanda's last week. And now this week we got this real pretty little card. Um, this one came from New Zealand. It's so pretty. Krista sent me this from New Zealand and it's got a little bookmark and a little napkin folded up in there in it. And she, she put a little message in there to me and she Aww. decorated it up real pretty. And that that's sweet. Pretty. And so this came all the way from New Zealand for the challenge. I love the koala bear <laughs> on the front that the quilt. That it, is it, so adorable. And that's three dimensional. A pick, it's flat, but it looks three dimensional. Mm -hmm. Quilling is a really cool art. But the thing of it is, Brandy, it's not quilt. It's it, this is all flat. What? It's a it's a picture of a quilled koala. Holy cow. I thought it was honestly a, like a <laughs> sticker or something. That's cool. But it looks three dimensional. Isn't that neat? And this is the little bookmark she put in there. Oh, how sweet. Decorated up real sweet. 
So I thought that was sweet of her to put that in there. She wrote me a little note on there and she even decorated the back of it up. Yeah. And made by Krista on there. Aww. And then we got this one. This one is one of these little cards that see if I can get this under the camera so it shows up. You just pop that up and it sits it's a little sit up card. It's an easel card. Yeah. Fiona that said, um, where, where is it at? Fiona said, mine won't make a week because hers is coming from so far away. Well, I announced it two weeks ago, Fee. <laughs> she wasn't here. She, she needs to listen to the shows. Even if you don't catch it live, at least listen to the shows. Keeps you abreast of Hi. what's going on. Hi, Enter P66. Welcome, welcome. Good to have you in there. That's one of my new subs. Glad to have you in there. Dropping Thank by the live playing. show. And uh, Jada's out there. PJ's out there. Kiki's out there. I hope I didn't miss anybody. But, hey, you know, it is what it is. We're, we're sliding down through the, the cards here that I got for the challenge. So there's that one. Then I got this one. This is a nice little card. Looky there. Aww. Isn't that sweet? This is from Sharon. I love the little birds. And she put a little oh. bookmark in or a little tag in hers. Could be used to her little bookmark. So Are we got that. Bears? Um, they're polar bears. Little little they're white polar cute. bears. Very sweet. We got little cardinals and pine cones, a little snowman there on the front, the snowflake done in foil. So that, those are the three that I got this week. So you got one more week to get them in here. They got to be in by next Monday. Fee said, been so sick. I'm in bed, but I will send one anyhow. So you should feel loved. Well, bless your heart, Fee. I'd be glad to have anything that you want to send me. Or if Basically, you want to give up on her, you send one to me. I'll appreciate it. No, I'm just <laughs> Look at her being a Christmas hog. Lord. <laughs> I love tell you what, She's sweet. Well, I got the camera on me. I'm going to go ahead and show the stuff that I made this week on my crafty table. Um, oh, you might have caught my videos where I showed there's three episodes on this gourd that I hollowed out, cut the hole in it, painted the inside, and I did the wood burning on the outside with the owl, and there's a couple feathers that I wood burnt on there and painted it and I did some alcohol ink on the outside sealed the whole thing up and that is my little wood burnt gourd that I did with my little owl. Tell me it does not okay any of you nerd people PJ I'm specifically talking to you tell me that does not look somewhat like Hedwig from Harry Potter. <laughs> I'm so serious because when I saw that I was like holy crap that looks so much like it. That's the white owl. <laughs> then I did this uh, Celtic heart. <clears throat> Would burnt this on this little plaque. After my and old I Irish heart. Stained it. And I put some sealer on Bring there. It Bring it down the hair. There you go. Up a little. <laughs> so that's my little wood burnt Celtic heart that I made. Then I did this little tray. Oh, that came that. out good. Little design in there, and I would burnt that, and then I stained the thing and put the the sealer on there. So those are the three projects that I did and made videos on. If you want to see how all that was done, you can check out the videos. You'll never guess who popped in. <clears throat> well, I see Amanda in there, and yep. I see R. Conklin Arts in there. Good to have both yep. of you with us. Hi, Amanda. I think Brandy's got something on her crafty table that she was going to show us. Yes, I made a couple of things. Um, if she can show not, it without giving away too many secrets, I know that it's like, you know, Santa's workshop over there at her house. Shoot. It ain't <laughs> quite that, that. I ain't got a tree up. Am I going to get, like, suspended for not having my tree up yet? Well, I'm not putting a tree up, so... There. Okay. Now I feel a little <laughs> bit better. All right. Let me swap around. 
Or wait, is that the right way to do it? I hope you got your clothes on. I've done clicked on you. I don't no, you're not gonna see that because I'm on my phone. So see, <laughs> hi, you see my fingers. See my fingers. Okay, so without giving it away too much, I'm just gonna show like the bottom. Hopefully it's gonna focus. Come on, focus. Focus, focus, focus. Is focus, it focus. Is it, is it focused or is it too sparkly? Well, it's kind of sparkly, but I I can make out what it is. I mean. Okay. Let me see if I can if I pull this in. It'll. That's the bottom part of a pendant she's working on. Yep. That's the dangly. That's the bottom piece. Yep. So basically, and excuse my craftiness. So. There you go. There you go. See how dangly. She got a half a dozen beads rolled out there on her desk and calls that a mess. Lord, she'd die yeah. if she walked in here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, they're all sparkly. And they're just pearls. Let's see. They're pearls. Oh my gosh, it's so shiny. It's not catching. Catch. Good Lord. All I see is little freckles of light. <laughs> okay, Looks like the Christmas tree blew up. <laughs> right? And all it is is just pearls and AB beads. Okay. There's some sparkle in that piece. There is. Okay, anyways, the, the bottom is the most important part. It's got three little teardrop pearls that I put on here. And then, good lord, there's some pink pearls on it. There's white pearls on it. I'm trying to cover up everything else. And I did not expect this to be so blingy. And then there's a big, yes, there's a silver ball on it. So there you go. And then, um... Now, this is good because I know uh, Noah's mom does not actually watch uh, YouTube or have anything to do with YouTube. So, and I have to give credit where credit is due. So, PJ and Carrie, this is thanks to your mom. She, she gave me the wonderful idea of doing this for a Christmas present. I decided, so yes, Melissa, you are a good teacher. And Lord, it's so freaking blingy. You can't see hardly at all either. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, it's I'll say hey to Tessie out there in the chat room. Glad to have you with us, Tessie. Bring me bracelet. But let's see if I can get it to focus at all. Can you not freaking focus? My phone's usually better than this. Um, I have purple beads here. And then there's some lavender beads. And then all these sparkly ones that you can't really see is because it's all glass. So it does gleam. So they're glass crystals on it. Purple or blue TVs out there in the chat. Glad to have you with us. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's just one kind of one whole coil and then two ends. And then at the bottom, let's see if we can get this stinking thing to focus. Let's see. Hey, Joy. Let's see. Focus. I don't know. Can you see that? Well, I can make out that it says something on it, but I can't make out what it says. It's a little well, blurry. It says live, love, and laugh. So, and it's, just it's a little dangling. charm on the bracelet. Yeah, it's at the very bottom of the bottom piece. So it dangles from the bottom of the wrist. So now that I've blinded everyone permanently, um, <laughs> I'm going to click off of me and click back on you. You're going to blind everybody every week, one way or another, ain't you? <laughs> I mean, you really, there's my, one of my bling boxes if you really want me to blind you. Woohoo! Look at that. <laughs> Looks like a treasure chest. <laughs> so, yep, back to you then. All right. Well, we'll put the camera over on me. And I was flailing around here all day yesterday trying to figure out what am I going to do for the show tomorrow night? Because there's so many things that I could do, but a lot of the things that I could do I've seen everybody else doing over on their channels, you know, like the snowmen and the, the um, gnomes and Christmas ornaments and all that sort of thing. And I thought, you know, one thing that I, not that it ain't been done, just that I ain't seen nobody doing it, is doing the little teacups up as, as a floral, little floral uh, hostess gift or a little floral table arrangement for your own table. Enter piece six, six is having to head out. Oh, well, I'm glad you dropped by. 
thanks for coming in we'll see you on one of the other feeds i'm sure in the next few days so <laughs> what i did i've got three of these cups and three saucers and i took the liberty of before the show this afternoon epoxying these cups down to the saucers and you could see there where there's some epoxy there underneath it so that they'd stay put um you can't really trust hot glue and you don't want them popping loose from there after you've gone to all the trouble to um, decorate them and, and fix them up and then i'm going to take some floral foam you can get this floral foam i'll move the camera up just a little bit here and try to rearrange it so that you can see a little bit more but you get these blocks for floral foam anywhere that they sell uh, floral decorations any of the craft stores Walmart has it about any place uh, that does the the craft stuff and then you cut it with a knife or I've got this uh, utility knife that I'm going to cut it with but anything good and sharp you cut it loose from there and you just chip it off and then you just Cut it down to whatever size you want it to be on your piece that you're decorating. And you, you can use many pieces of it. Well, it's not really that fancy. It's pretty simple. I mean, it's a cup and a saucer, and then we're going to decorate it. <laughs> Gail said, oh, gosh, I hate that sound. <laughs> Sorry, Gail. I forget. Well, it's <laughs> with me breaking the yeah because <laughs> um who is is gail are you the one that has i think it's tensinitis is that what it is because some people just have sensitivity to to funky sounds like i can't stand nails on a chalkboard boy i'd have fun with you <laughs> see our 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 conklin arts agrees with me Almost like nails on a chalkboard. Oh, Gail said, no problem, no. Cutting the foam. Oh, cutting the foam is what's killing her. And then I just put a little bit in that cup there. I'm going to put a little bit around it on the outside of it, too. Put the glue gun down here a minute. Now, there ain't going to be no way around this, girls. i got to cut this. <laughs> Gail, hold your ears. <laughs> Now we're going to cover that up so you know it's not really going to show but it's going to lift up a little bit there for the decoration we're going to put on top of and you can use other things too you can use gravel you can use cabochons uh you know whatever you want to put in there <laughs> gail said turning the volume down lol <laughs> <laughs> i'll tell you when to turn it back up dear you know, a lot of people like to turn the volume down when they hear me. <laughs> I'll make another announcement here while I'm fooling with this. Um, Thursday night at 7 o'clock Eastern Time, I have been asked to be interviewed by the dude behind the camera down in New Zealand here on YouTube. So if you have any questions you'd like to ask me, you can come there to the dude behind the camera show. Go sub to him. Ring the little bell so you get the alert when he does interviews. And I'll be on there Thursday evening. And you can come to the show and ask me questions. And I'll tell, <laughs> tell you lies and... Oh, I'm sorry, Jacqueline. I missed your question. Um, she wants Jacqueline wants to know: Did you use E6000 to glue the pieces down? No, I used uh, JB Weld. <laughs> and the reason that I didn't use E6000 is because I can't find it. It's what? here somewhere. I don't oh, know where. Lord, woman. <laughs> it's around here someplace. I guarantee. We'll find it. it after the show. Watch. Yeah, that's how it works. I, now, I'm trying to straighten things up in here the other day, and I know I have poked it in something, in a box or something here someplace, and I don't remember where I put it. 
but I needed something to epoxy that down with, and I have JB Weld, and JB Weld will do the job. Aww. <laughs> Purple or Blue TV she came on and said, okay, I came to the show li uh, live. I'm at work. Can't stay because I'm sneaking on the phone. Yeah, don't get in trouble, Purple or Blue. <laughs> it's not worth it. Well, we're glad you came and joined us for a few minutes anyway. <laughs> nice to have you in there. Maybe you can catch the rest of it there, you know, on Memorex after it goes off. Because it'll be on I'm my channel. Memorex. <laughs> Memorex. Hi, Sandra. You're too young to remember those commercials, Brandy. Excuse me. I do know those commercials. I'm not that much of a baby. Is it real or is it Memorex? You, you're just a child. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, you just treat me like one. Oh, uh, yeah. You look back on this in another 30 years and know she's just a baby. <laughs> Yeah, then I'll be feeling all the aches and pains of life. Yes, you will. Our, our Corkland Art said, JB Will, duct tape and Bondo rock. Amen. Sure. Duct tape. If you can't duck it, you know that famous saying. I'm not going to finish the rest. But... <laughs> exactly, Gail. They do. See, Gail said they on May TV, they run old commercials. But no, that's actually not where I saw it from. I remember um, there was... There, I have tapes from when I was a little girl, and um, there's commercials on it because the TV was running in the background, and so I get to see some of the old commercials, like the cool Kellogg's commercials, the Life cereal, the one where Mikey will eat anything cereal commercial, yeah. <laughs> okay, for the next amazing feat, I've got this stuff called Sheet Moss. I got this up to the Walmart, and... We're just going to cover up where we built it up there with the sheet moss. So it just looks like a natural floral garden type design. And all that, where all that foam is, we're just going to put hot glue and glue down this sheet moss. What are you cackling about? You laying an egg? Nope, I'm laughing at Gail. Because <laughs> Gail said, Brenda, why do you sound like you're from the South, but you live here in Indiana? Well, that's because I was raised by a bunch of rogue rednecks. <laughs> my, my family all came from either Kentucky or West Virginia. And I spent most of my childhood at my granny's house. She lived right down the road from us. And she was from Hazard, Kentucky, originally. So I took on a lot of her accent, I guess. My mother used to get so mad over it. Because when I would come back home from being down to her house for a week or so, you know, I was saying everything just like granny did. And mom would say something to me like, uh, how long are you going to be doing that? And I'd say, about an hour. And she'd say, what? I'd say, about an hour. And she says, it is our. Exactly. <laughs> I'm literally from the South, and I'll sound, you know, as, I don't even know what you would call that. I guess. You don't sound like as big a hick as me? Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> I mean, I wasn't going to say it that way, but if you want to put it that way, that's fine with me. <laughs> Or, or she'd say, uh, where did you leave the glass? And I'd say, it's out in the kitchen. Oh, my goodness. And that would get me in trouble. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> oh, I love what our Corkland put. Um, I'm sorry. Are, are you a he or a she? I can't. Your picture's so flipping tiny. But It don't um, matter. Correct me if I'm wrong, um, but they said, ah, you're going for the Le Dijonaire en Forer look by Melee. I 
<laughs> well, I can't say the last name. Abnim, I think. Hey, Want to know if I'm doing a Monet? Melee. Oh, a melee. No, a me <laughs> well, hey, Wake up, girl. <laughs> M-E-R-E-T, woman. Melee. It's French. Well, I say I don't speak French. I speak redneck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You should see it when I get mad at Noah. If I get so too mad at him, it's kind of funny because I'll start speaking French because I know he won't understand it, and he just laughs at me. But I'm I'm re actually really mad. Ah, see, it's <laughs> Corklin said you'll have to Google it to figure it out. <laughs> Fee, you keep leaving us. She said, oh, oh my. my, sorry, back for the third time. My girlfriend is on lunch break and now text now is texting me. <laughs> okay. See how I put that moss right over top of that the green stuff? Foam? It doesn't even look like it's there anymore. And it just looks like a little garden. Little yeah. cup. Now, down here on the front of the plate, you notice that I left this uh rose showing. Mm -hmm. And I intend to leave that showing. On the, when I lined this up earlier to set this whole thing up, I put the little rose there on the top so that would show. And I'm intending not to cover that up as I decorate it. And once you get all that in there, it don't take a whole lot to decorate it. I've got all kinds of sprigs and leaves and sprays of different things that I'm going to be putting in here. I see we can put a little gold leaf poking out of there glue that down so it ain't gonna go anywhere and then I've got this kind of a little leaf I thought this was really pretty get it up here so you can see it Ooh, it's like a skeleton leaf I love those and I'm gonna put that in there Put a little glue in the oh, cup. Conklin, you have my heart. You really do. Beatrice Potter. I love those books. And then we want to put that a little old hoot nanny that I'm going to put in there. And that pokes right down in that foam. And there's another one. And let's see here. I want to get some little pine cones out of my jug. Oh, wow. I'm Put not some little pine for a second, cones. Brenda. <laughs> wow, what's going on? Oh, no, I'm just looking at something. I subscribed to somebody. A Sanders out there. Say hey to Sanders. I already said hey to Sanders. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> you ain't on your game. <gasps> Miss yeah. Michelle Scott from Area 51 is here. Hey, where in the world is Michelle Scott? She was in Roswell with the aliens in Area 51. <laughs> the aliens, did you escape? <laughs> Michelle, you still with him over there? <laughs> Poor Michelle, we treat her awful, don't we? No. <laughs> now, I'll tip that up so that you can see what I've got going on there. <laughs> oh I'll put those little pine cones in there. Oh, that's pretty, Brenda. Tried to do them just kind of, you know, helter skelter so that they look natural. You know, like they just fell off the pine tree into the cup. Miss Shell said Roswell looking for a man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, you might not find man out there, but you might find a being out there, supposedly. It might be green with big old beady eyes. Oh, okay. She said she likes them tall and green. Okay, well then that's right up your alley, darling. 
Okay, I put a little bell in there to set that off a little bit. And we, it needs a little Aww. silver. So around here on this back side of it, I'm going to put a sprig of silver glitter pine on it. To set it off a little bit. When you're decorating something, you want to get all sides of it. Oh, I love those. Did you trim those down or did they? I cut them, them off of a, one of them uh, sprays, you know, where you get a whole bunch of pieces on it. I cut them down for this. Aww. And I'm going to come in with a little of this over here on this side where the handle is. So that we balance the sides of it a little bit. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Ms. Gail said, hey, Michelle, you'd fit in well on my son's, web son's webcast then. His is called Paranormal Soup. Fiona said, geez, she's bloody. She just bloody interrupted me again with a call. I couldn't hear a word. She needs a new phone. Oh, damn, now a text message. Be right back again for the fifth time. <laughs> and then uh, our Thanks, popular. said <laughs> that Martha Stewart, eat your heart out. This lady's good. <laughs> We'll put a little silver bow up there on top of it to set it off. And there is a pretty little floral arrangement for your Christmas table. And you got it done in 30 minutes. Look at that. It don't take much to do them. And, you know, you, you need a last minute hostess gift and you got a bunch of these sprays and stuff and a, a teacup and a saucer. Go to your thrift stores or your Goodwills or we've we got a little antique mall here in town where they sell this stuff and you can get it pretty cheap and get you some teacups and saucers that you can decorate up for different holidays. You know, if you need a little hostess gift real quick or you need a little something for a centerpiece on a little table, this is a real cute little way to do it. I love the pine cones. It gives it that woody look along with the moss, but then the golds and the silvers and the reds, it just pulls it all together. And that's how <laughs> I did that one now. Like I said, I got two more of them here that I can do up. Michelle said, okay, I'm going to bed. Exos wonder where I'll be next week. Michelle, you can find <laughs> out here. <laughs> but have a good night, darling. <laughs> We're just going to keep moving you around all over the world. <laughs> Do hear in this episode, Brenda G's Designs has been brought to you by Where in the World is Michelle Scott? Y'all exactly. hear her evil laugh, right? And that's, yeah, I hear it all the time. See, and that's why I have to live alone because I sit around and laugh like that all the time, you know. It's because <laughs> anybody not. that lived with me would would go nuts listening to that all the time. But I'll just sit and think of things, just sit and laugh. Because <laughs> she's plotting, that's why. A lot of the times, it's you know thinking about things that I'll do to Brandy. <laughs> exactly. Hi, Tracy. <laughs> Corklin, Conklin said, I want to keep saying Corklin. I apologize for mispronouncing your name. Conklin yeah, she Art, can't talk good. Yeah, I, I'm slow like that. Um, <laughs> Conklin Arts said, you could cover the whole teacup with moss and fix it up for an everyday decoration look. A lot of potential. Yeah, he's right. Yeah, you he could. Really can. Especially if you have a plain cup, you know, something don't have no decorations and stuff on it. You can uh, just decorate the whole doggone thing. I'm trying to leave the decorations showing on this, you know, the, the roses on the saucer and on the cup so that 
it kind of showcases the cup and saucer a little bit. But yeah, if you have just a plain one, I mean, you can use a coffee cup, a mug, you know, whatever you want to do. And you don't have to lay them down like this. You can stand them up and do the, the design right on the top of the cup if you wanted to. I can't see anytime I go to the thrift store, I never find pretty cups like that. I find only crappy ones and they don't have matching plates either. <laughs> well, the next one, the third one that I've got, the plate does not match the cup. I had one extra of these rose cups and there was no saucer to match it. So I just got another little saucer. And that's what I'll be doing on that one. You just work around the, the cup, laying this in, and thinking about how you're going to put the moss on top of it. You know, you want it sitting in there good so that you can cover it with moss, but you don't want the moss hanging off the saucer too far. I like that other cup that you did, the the floral, the one. That the floating tea cup? Yeah, that was pretty. I love that cup. Yeah, you could do that with, with these two, but I wasn't wanting to deal with the aperture. Uh, I mean, you know, being totally honest, those are beautiful, but trying to fool with that doggone aperture will make you say things you didn't think you knew. Oh, you was making up words. Yeah. <laughs> There was words that wasn't even in the dictionary. Did I tell you? Or yes, I did say it. Um, Tracy came in. Well, hey, Tracy. See, you you should listen because when I say "Hey, so and so," you usually say "Hey back." <laughs> well, sometimes I get in the zone, <laughs> and that's why you got the first one done in thirty minutes. I, I get in the craft zone. <laughs> <laughs> up to my elbows in hot glue. <laughs> I asked R. Conklin um, if he went by another name or like if he wanted to be called on like a first name basis. And then um, he replied, um, R, but you got to say it like a pirate. <laughs> there you go. R. <laughs> I have met some of the nicest people this week. It gave me a new faith in YouTube. Good. Because, you know, there's so much trolling and so much drama and stuff. It seems like, you know, it oh, just kind of yes. overwhelms you with the things that go on on YouTube. But I met the nicest group of people this week, and they're all about supporting each other and supporting each other's channels and subbing to each other and building the numbers. Um, you know, I mean, YouTube... While it's, you know, an interesting platform for us, they kind of have us over a barrel, especially when they keep playing with our numbers the way they do. And we all know they're playing with our numbers. Uh, YouTube giveth and YouTube taketh away as far as our subs and our, uh, our numbers. We've watched our numbers bounce all over the place, up and down this week. Um, so YouTube's playing with us. And if we get enough people subscribing to each other and building up the channels and making our channel numbers higher recognizes. I would hope so. That would be nice. So I encourage everybody in the chat room to sub to everybody else. If you have a channel and you want subs, you need to be writing in that chat room. I need subs. And then everybody go to their channel because all you got to do is click those three little, you, you move your mouse over their, their name where they've typed. There'll be three little dots at the end of that. You click on that and the first thing that comes up there is their channel. You click on that, it brings it up in a new window on your browser and then you sub to them. Yep. So make sure you sub to everybody. Okay, there's two questions. Um, yes. Tra Tracy's got a question and it says, Brenda, can you make a plaque with a turtle on it? 
Sure. Um, are you talking like wood burning or whatnot, uh, Tracy? And then oh, she don't want me to just go get a turtle and glue it to the plaque. Well, that wouldn't be humane. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. You, you might have and, to specify here. Okay, well, she wants it wood burn. I need a pattern, but I can probably find one. There's about a billion of them on the internet. But well, yes, her answer first. She hasn't answered if she. You might want me to just go get a turtle and glue it to the plaque. I don't think Tracy's uh, inhumane like that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, never mind. I, I even said it. <laughs> Anyways, um, next question, Kiki. Uh, she said, "How is YouTube not reporting correctly? Can you give a specific example?" And before you answer, will you? Um, Oh, Tracy answered. She said, yes, it's for my grandbaby. And before you answer, Kiki, could you post the link to your Facebook page so people that do live streams that are new here can um, join your group and uh, have an opportunity to post when they do live streams? Because I'll guarantee you there's a whole bunch of them that if they're not here tonight, they will be coming in here. Um, so you know, be yeah. promoting your Facebook so they can get on that group. Okay, now answer her question. She wants a specific example of YouTube not reporting correctly. So go ahead and okay. get into that whole thing. Well, I sit here, biggest part of this week, and I watched my numbers. And I mean watched my numbers. Refreshing the screen over and over and over and over again. At the end of each month, and I'm not the only one. There was a whole bunch of us that did this. We kind of ran a test to see what was going on. At the end of the month, it seems that YouTube has some, I don't know if it's an algorithm. I don't know what it is, but they have something that resets a bunch of numbers at the end of the month. And there were people losing, oh, anywhere from, five or 10 subs to as many as 50 subs right at the end of November, four days ago. I lost 30. All in the time frame of like 12 hours. 30 of my subs disappeared, poof, right there at the end of the month, just like everybody else was losing subs. And how do you lose views? Somebody explain that to me. Because I'd be looking at my views and my views, you know, let's just pull a number out of the air. Let's say that my views were 5,146. And all of a sudden, my views are down to like 5,115. How in the heck do you lose views? I mean, I was always taught once it's been seen, it can't be unseen. There's a lot of things I wish I could unsee, but... Yeah, you're right. <laughs> so <laughs> something's playing with the numbers, and I'm not the only one. I mean, this is happening to a whole slew of people. Because we was comparing notes on all this, and everybody was saying the same thing. There's some of them that got so mad, they just dropped their YouTube channel. They said, hey, I can't contend with this anymore. I'm working my tail off trying to build my channel up, and YouTube messing me over. So <clears throat> there you go. Um, YouTube's messing with us. And if we all band together and we all build our channels up and get a lot of nice subs on there and we're all working together instead of trying to tear each other down, create a bunch of drama, uh, we stand to be able to work with YouTube a little bit more when we can all band together and say, hey, you know, this is not an isolated case. We're all seeing this happen and you need to be explaining to us why this is going on and how do we get it stopped? As long as we're all just a bunch of little bitty channels out here, they're not gonna pay attention to us. We need to get them working on that algorithm thing too. My channel so far is not monetized, but there are a lot of channels that are monetized and they are all having issues with the monetization on YouTube where you do a show, they don't like something you say, it's picked up in the algorithm before it even goes to Memorex, for lack of a better word to call it. You're doing a live show. And let's say, for example, I'm talking about a glue gun. And they don't like the word gun. The algorithm picks it up, 
and says, uh oh, we're demonetizing your show because you're talking about guns. So you don't get the monetization on your channel. They automatically demonetize you. You have to go to YouTube and say, hey, there's no reason for you to do this. I demand to have a human review of my channel to see what is going on with this. It takes them two or three weeks to get around to checking your channel out. And they say, oh, okay, well, that's all right then. And then they monetize you, but you have already lost all of the monetization on all of the views that you would have gotten during the period of time that they've got it up for review. I'm going to chime in on this part. Um, okay. Sadly, <clears throat> it's not even the small channels anymore. I mod for a large name channel for The Walking Dead, for you people who do know who that uh, of that TV show. And he has over 10,000 subs. And even he literally, like during the live that he does every Sunday, he has trouble and he'll put the chat box up to where like you can see the chat flowing through the, uh, the live stream while he's talking on the other side. And then, you know, as we're modding, he can see what we're doing as well. And um, he's having trouble. Yep. And it happened like, to Kelly Coffee too. Uh, she, it, she had all kinds of issues. They took, they actually removed a bunch of her videos. Removed yeah, her they video. Will. <laughs> I know someone whose who's whole channel got. Yep. Uh, suspended due to someone po he, okay all he posted was an incident had happened at some type of burning man um uh it's out in i think the desert i can't think of it right yeah where. but he was talking about news article that he read about a man who had ran into the flames of the burning man show which is horrible in itself but um the YouTuber only said that he had run into there and the fire people, uh, the fire people, the firemen and women wouldn't go in after him because it was too dangerous. And they actually copyright struck him and he ended up getting suspended for it because it was considered hate speech or yeah. hate content related. Yeah. Well, the, the mere mention of burning man would have got that in the and, algorithm. Exactly. And yeah. so he's appealing it. So if any of you guys show uh, live streams or videos or anything like that gets, you know, stricken for any reason and you know that you didn't do anything wrong, do yourselves a favor and appeal it because you know it's not your fault because well, all it is is little bots that's that's picking up words well that's true except for one thing brandy you've lost all the monetization on everything that you would have gotten monetization for while it is being reviewed exactly exactly your it's your video is going to get the major portion of its views during the first 24 hours that it's up Right. And after that, you know, it's just kind of hit or miss with, you know, people going back to check something on it or somebody just happened to do a little search and your video came up on the YouTube search and uh, they say, oh, well, yeah, that's kind of in line with what I want to see. And they'll pull it up and take a look at it. But it's not like, you know, your viewership actually going and looking at your videos. So, you know, if you've got a monetized channel, uh, <laughs> YouTube is messing you up with that uh, algorithm stuff they got going on. Uh, we have a, another newcomer in here. Uh, uh, Dat Ass Podcast. Welcome, welcome. Hey! Hey, Dat. <laughs> Glad to have you in there. I recognize that name. And Good to have you on the live stream here. We're crafting. How you are and how everyone else is. Well, I'm just finer than frog hair. Finer and frog hair and twice as feisty. I'm making these fancy little teacups. 
with a little floral design in it. I like the pearls incorporated. Now, got that. And Brandy, what do you think of this? It's pretty. Why would you even ask me that? You know I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously? I want to make you drool. <laughs> now, Let's see, I'm going to pearls in it. So, I'm going to cut just a little piece of that off. This this stuff reminds me of you know how in the winter time when it's really cold, I don't know if it happens down there as much as it does up here, but when it gets really cold and you get the frost on the window. Yeah. Yeah, that's what this reminds me of is the, the frost on the windows. I can see that. Gerald Thompson came in, says, hey, Brenda and all. Hi, dear. Hey, nice how you. are you? And I'm just going to put that little piece up here on the top of the teacup just to dress it up a little bit. Make it all fancy. They come down over the edge. A little another dab of glue here. And then for a little pop, I'm going to take one of these little poinsettias. Kiki said 17 watching, 17 thumbs up. Thanks, guys. We appreciate it. You guys are awesome. We love you. Appreciate that. I really do. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and all that jazz to all y'all. Like now, look at that. That's pretty. They just kind of dressed that up a little bit with the poinsettia on it and got pine cones all up in there and glitters and pearls and sparkly got the gold on the back of it and put that little piece of lace there on it see it doesn't take very long to glue yeah, them up did that one in less than 30 minutes <laughs> then i got this one now see i told you that the the plate doesn't match the cup but it comes close i mean just doesn't have a a rose on it but we can cover all this up down here with the moss so here i'm going to get at the moss again or the um foam gail but, stepped away yeah. so sorry done run gail off no she had to go away for now she said she was listening though so you're probably making her ears hurt just as she's listening Poke a little glue in there and put some of this moss on top of the foam once we get the foam all glued in. <laughs> Night Angel said, oh boy, here comes the messy moss yuckies. <laughs> but these are fun to make, you know, you just use all your different little pieces that you got saved up from your floral stuff and make See, something pretty out of them and if you don't like, use it all just save it for next year you know you put it in a little box in, in your craft cupboard marked for christmas decorations and then when you get ready to start crafting next year you can go shopping in your own craft room before you have to go to the store i know you know all about that brenda oh you know <laughs> I'm That's surprised. my favorite place to shop. <laughs> I'm surprised you don't have it boxed in and labeled as Christmas crap. <laughs> <laughs> Brandy and I'll be talking and I'll say something about it. I need to go shopping and where are you going? I said, uh, upstairs. <laughs> Jeez. I shop in my own craft room first. Uh, hey, nothing. I always say, you, you know what? Nothing is better than free. Free is always the best. Don't throw nothing out. You just save it up for your next projects. Oh, Jacqueline said reindeer moss is good to mix in also. I've never heard of reindeer moss. 
Yeah, they had some of that up to the Walmart, but I already had this um, sheet moss, and I thought, well, I'll just use what I got first before I go buying more. But yes, reindeer moss will work. I'm going to have to take a look and see what that is. Because Brenda will say it, I will. Sorry for the crackling, y'all. <laughs> it's part of crafting. Nice people are into crafting. They don't mind a little crackling. <laughs> it's okay. None of us need to hear after it's over. <laughs> well, I don't sit there and crackle it for an hour and a half. I get what I need out of the bag and move on. <laughs> I have to torture you in some way. Because I get tortured enough. Lord, you have no idea what I could do to you. <laughs> you poor, <laughs> clueless child. Did you just call me clueless? Is that a blonde, like, is, is that because I'm blonde? I feel offended. Should I be offended? No, it's because you're clueless. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't clueless. I'm smarter than you think. I just don't let you, you know, let on to it. Um, you have no <laughs> idea what I could do to you. I'm going to have to get some more glue sticks. <laughs> well, while you're getting glue sticks, I'm going to read you what was said. R right. said you could up those little bits and pieces of moss with a thin layer of Elmer's and sprinkle them on. Waste not, want not. And then Gail said, Loves how, love how Brenda says up to the Walmart. I know, right? I don't, I've never, I don't ever hear anybody say it like she does. Up to the Walmart. <laughs> and Sandra said, I may go live on Wednesday with another ornament I'm making. Sandra, I know you go live oh. on Facebook. Do you ever go live on YouTube? Oh, Tracy, don't even start. Oh, my goodness. Brenda. Ugh. What, what's Tracy want? She said she loved my sweater. You know what she's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Sad thing is, I have family that sees that stuff. And I'm just like, oh, I cannot imagine what, you know, my sisters think of this. Aw. <laughs> okay. Fee said, can't type anymore. Too much pain now in hands and arms due to this autoimmune. But lurking and enjoy this, enjoying this. Hugs, Brandy. You make me smile with that laugh. Ah, and see, Brenda, be nice to our Brandy. So you shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Amanda, don't encourage it. Come on. <laughs> she said, so your style. No, it's not. I would not be caught. I don't care if I was dead. I would not be caught in that. Okay, Sandra. All right. Thanks for letting me know, Sandra. Brandy, tell Brenda I heard what she was saying about the trouble with YouTube. My son also had same problems with getting videos removed for really stupid reasons. He doesn't do lives anymore on YouTube. Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of people that's leaving YouTube and going to other venues, although, you know, it's hard to find another venue where you have the uh, base that you got here on YouTube. Um, exactly. And nobody's got the money to try to start their own situation up. I know there's several people that would love to do it, but you know, <laughs> it's going to take millions of dollars to try to build okay. what YouTube's got going here. Gerald said, got to go all. Have a great night. So you too, uh, Gerald. It was nice having you in here. Um, Denise's Sparkles and Crafts came in. And you're not late. Not really. I mean, she's just playing with stuff. Good to have you in there. Yeah, I'm just working on my, my little design here, my floral design for the holidays. Making sure oh, I've got all this. Oh, that's such a good idea. R said was talking to Fee and said you could activate voice typing that comes with Windows. I'm not sure she she might be on her phone. If she's usually on her phone when she's watching, so she could. I'm not sure. 
Denise said, looks like a salad. Yes, it does so far. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Night Angel went and got her coffee. And she said, ah, good. <laughs> <laughs> R said, well, time for my other favorite live stream with more good folks. They're raising money for families and children in need for the holidays. They're yeah, I heard that was going to be on tonight. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Glad you stopped in. We do this every Monday night, so we'll look forward to having you back on the next one. Now we got all the moss down, so we're going to start laying some of these leaves in here. Gail, are you and Kiki fighting? <laughs> I know what I'm going to have to put them in timeout. Let's see, what are they fighting over? <laughs> I don't know, but she said found it. Send me your address. They're like two cats fighting over a dead mouse. <laughs> uh, okay. As long as it's sort of. Kiki, we, I told you about stalking people. <laughs> she, Gail said she wants my address. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I remember you talking about that earlier, Kiki, on Emily's stream. I know she's talking about, she's talking about paper. Oh, Kiki, did you get your package today? Please tell me you did because um, if not, I'm calling your post office and me and them are going to have some words. Mostly me. Yeah, she still has not gotten her package, Brenda, from that auction. Huh. Yeah, you need to be putting a trace on that. Don't let it go too long because they left it someplace. I need to be looking for it. Oh, hi, Crystal. Good hmm. Lord. Jacqueline said it was 33 degrees last night. It's going to be getting cold here. They're saying, calling for it to get down in the 20s tomorrow night and stay that way for about 14 days. Oh, I love the South. It was 60 today. Crazy. Yeah, exactly. I was wearing short sleeves today and was comfortable. Okay, Kiki. I appreciate it, sweetheart. Oh, Gail, don't feel that way. It does. That's not what it. That's not why it's called happy mail or racked for you know nothing. What's going on? Uh, Gail feels bad because she can't reciprocate because Kiki's wanting to send her some paper, and she said nothing really to send people. That's not the point. But, of no, it, that, that's not what it's all about. A uh, random act of kindness is somebody doing a random act of kindness for you. So what you are supposed to do as a recipient is be grateful. Exactly. It's because I love you, Gail. That's why. <laughs> Denise and then said, one day when you are able to reciprocate what you do is you find somebody else to exactly. send something to it's like you don't have to send it to the person that sent you something it's a random act of kindness yep. you just close your eyes pick a name and send them something yep <laughs> denise said she was talking to jacqueline she said oh jacqueline anything below 80 here we freeze and brandy wait what i did not <laughs> She said, Brandy sent it cold here, so now that it is 65, we are frozen. Thanks, Brandy. Why yeah. is it always my fault? Yeah, she's I doing it here, too. I know. 
I mean, that's what's going to go here tonight. I'm one of the warm hearted people you you all know, and I'm always so sweet. Just ask Sierra. Sierra Miller. Okay, now. She knows. <laughs> see if I can move this up and get that camera on it. Look at there. Oh, shiny. Right there on that side. So there's three teacups on saucers that I decorated up for the holidays. Make nice hostess gifts or if you need something to give a teacher or a co-worker, your boss, something to sit in the break room at work to look pretty for the holidays. There you go. And you can put little sentiment things in these if you want to, you know, have little pics that say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, you know, whatever. Little snowmen or, you know, whatever you could put in there. But there's three of them that I did up right quick on the show. So it don't take long to do them. Unless you're Anybody got any questions? Forever. I don't think I read everything I was supposed to read. But you can look back and see. Well, I'm trying to get over here to clear my screen off enough to do that. <laughs> Oh, I see Denise is out there. I didn't know Denise was in the room. Hello, Denise. I said, hey, Denise. You tell me that and you didn't say it. I, Lord have mercy. And White Tupac is in there. Good to have you in there. Scrolling back yeah. over this a little bit. I think I've got everybody now. Glad to have everybody in there. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you haven't done that yet. And if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe and subscribe to everybody else in the room. I mean, even if you're not going to watch their videos, sub to them. What's it going to hurt you to sub to somebody? Just sub to them. You never know. You might learn something in the process from somebody. That ain't going to hurt you. Uh, there's a question. Uh, Gail wanted me to ask you how long the epoxy takes to set up. Well, I did those at uh, two o'clock this afternoon. And then I didn't come back in here until seven o'clock tonight. And it was set up when I come back in here. So uh, it probably depends on, you know, how warm it is in your room uh, or how cool it is in your room or how thick you put it on and all that. So I can't really give you an exact time on it. Um, this is not like, you know, your five minute or 15 minute epoxy. This is uh, JB. Well, it's a plastic bonder is what it's called, but you know, it works on this glass just the same. And comes out of both sides of that tube. You push down with both thumbs on the plunger and they come out the same rate. And then you just take your toothpick or your craft stick or whatever it is and mix them up together and bond whatever it is that you want bonded down. I know where you can put that. <laughs> Brandy, this is a clean show. <laughs> I was talking about your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. See, Lord have mercy. Hey, I ain't the one who said anything. You did. Didn't see, Would you you look at the way she talks to me? Uh excuse me. <laughs> um Denise is Hey Bob, right. good to see you in there. <laughs> Hi Bon Queen. Hi, sweetheart. Um, no, Denise said, see, it's your fault again. So see. And then Sandra, she took my side. She said, I heard you say hi to Denise Brandy. So see, ha, ha. <laughs> One out of 20 is not bad. <laughs> she, she waits until I get in the zone and then she says something. See, and then I, I don't hear her because I'm in the zone. That's not my fault. You should be multitasking and paying attention. <laughs> well, I am multitasking. I'm burning blisters on my fingers with this glue gun. And I'm I slinging moss and... Foam and I <laughs> floral you. sprays. You should have cups and saucers are being juggled. <laughs> you want me to do one more thing? <laughs> well, Brenda's crafty, so she can should be able to multitask too. <laughs> well, Brenda's crafty. That don't mean that Brenda pays every attention to what you're doing. That's because you ignore <laughs> me all the time. She ignores <laughs> me, y'all. Oh Lord! Good thing we love each other. 
<laughs> exactly. Jacqueline said, I was thrown in the briar patch with you, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so unloved and uncared for. <laughs> Anyone want to adopt me? <laughs> you want to say you're deprived, but actually you're depraved, and we all know the difference. And <laughs> Look here, I'm telling you where to put that JV in, you know, woman. <laughs> That's right, Tracy. Be like Brenda. <laughs> yeah, Brenda's mean. <laughs> and y'all take her side. Mine is the couple. <laughs> and I'm always they know how to. One. They know how to respect age. <laughs> oh, thank you, Amanda. <laughs> Don't get Tracy started on that. Tracy just enjoys it to death. Oh, I love all y'all. Lord have mercy. Oh, yay. Well, listen, Good. I think that's great news. I'm sorry. Kiki just gave me great news. She got her package. Thank goodness. Oh, cool. Glad to hear that. Finally. You know, we don't like for packages to get lost. That's a bad thing. No. And I've heard from several of the ladies that got the things from Etsy and they, they seem to be tickled to death. And I'm glad that they like the stuff that I make, the soap and the oils and stuff. And don't forget that my Etsy channel, if you need gifts, you can go there to the Etsy and I get it out to you right away. These girls will attest to that. Oh, Denise, I think I've done about, do what? told Den Denise said you girls are crazy and have me laughing every time I said we try sweetie <laughs> well we're born this way I mean you know we ain't doing nothing don't come natural <laughs> Jacqueline and I don't even think it has anything to do with age darling because I'm 28 and I'm the baby so I always get bullied <laughs> we do what she comes said, natural just like monkeys at the zoo I ain't a monkey <laughs> <laughs> a monkey Lord. <laughs> you don't find me picking up and throwing poop at people. <laughs> Although you might be. Well, the know, night ain't over exception. yet, Brandy. <laughs> yeah, you might be the exception. <laughs> Denise said, Brenda is great. And not only because she's from Indiana, but us Indiana girls are the best. Right, Brenda? Exactly. And we're crafty. And crazy. <laughs> I don't know. We might be all over the board with that one. Well, I'll be doing some more videos this week, and I don't know what I'll be doing because I've got the office mess in here you ever seen. And just as I unearth things, I, I make up some more crafts on them. If there's anything in particular you'd like to see me trying to make, then you know, let me know, and I'll see what I can do about it. Um, I, on this project, I just kind of went through the videos that everybody else has been putting out over the last week or two. I wanted to do something different that uh, I didn't see any of the ones that I watch doing. Just try to do something a little bit different, give you some ideas. You can add all kinds of things to this, ribbons and buttons and uh, appliques and, you know, whatever you want to add to them. All kinds of lace trims and and all that, make them up however you want. You put little Christmas bulbs in there or bells or, you know, whatever. Little miniatures would look cute in these too. You get the little miniature ornaments. Um, so whatever you happen to have on hand and just get you some teacups and saucers and you can get them cheap enough at the Goodwill or the dollar stores or the uh, variety stores or the um, um, thrift stores and flea markets and all that. Just keep your eye out for that kind of stuff on the cheap and stock it up. And that way you can make up some cute uh, little table decorations. So with that, I think I've done about all the damage that I can do here for one evening until I unearth this desk because Lord, I think the legs are about to buckle with all the stuff I got piled up here. So I'm going to shut her down and thank you all for being out there in the chat room. Don't forget to subscribe to everybody, including me and Give it a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing here. Share this all over your social media so everybody gets to hear about what's going on with YouTube as well as learning how to make some crafts and uh, 
being able to do some things that are unique that you don't find in the stores done up this way. And we will let you go and we will see you in the next video. Say good night, Brandy. Good night, guys. Y'all have a good evening. Thanks for coming. Remember, Brenda's crafty. Be like Brenda. Bye.